Good morning, dear students. Today, I'm going to teach you science. And the chapter is Human Body. We will learn about internal organs, respiratory system, breathing and air pollution. But in today's class, we will do internal organs. Introduction The human body is a wonderful machine. Like any machine, the human body is also made up of many parts which perform specific functions. Human body can do many activities that no man-made machine can ever do. Internal Organs the human body is like a big machine. It works with the help of different parts which perform different function. A human body is like a big machine. It works with the help of different parts which perform different function. Like a human body, we, we have different parts in a body like my hand, leg, eyes, nose. These parts have different function. I can see with my eyes. I can smell with my nose. So the different part of the body does different work. There are some parts of the body that we can see. These parts of our body are called external organs hands, leg, nose, etc. So there are some part of the body which can be seen. Now when I look at Mukul, when I look at Ashwin, I can see Ashwin's eyes. I can see Mukul's hand, leg. So the thing which can be seen, it is called external organs. Like example, hands, leg, nose, etc. There are also several body parts that we cannot see. These parts are present inside our body and are called internal organs. So there are some parts which we cannot see. Some parts which can be seen, it is called external organ. But some part which is inside us like our brain, our heart, our lungs, kidney. These are called internal organ. They cannot be seen. Now when I look at Ritika or if I look at Veer, I cannot see Veer's heart or lungs because they are internal organ. Internal organs cannot be seen. It is inside us. And external organs can be seen. So the part which is inside us, we cannot see them. They are called internal organs. And they have special role to play and they work all the time. So they have special role to play and they work all the time. My heart is working, my lungs, kidney, they all are working. But we cannot see them. So the things which we cannot see, they are called internal organ. In brain is located in the head. It helps us to think and remember. It also controls all the actions of the body such as 
breathing, digesting food and circulating blood. Now, the brain is very important and it is located in the head. So, our, hair, our brain is protected by the skull. Now, children, you know, whenever your father or your mother, they are driving, they always wear the helmet. Why? To protect the head, to protect the brain. If any accident happen, you have the helmet, your head will be protected because once your brain is damaged, it is hurt, you cannot do anything. Our brain receives messages from the sense organs and sends order for action through nerves. So see our brain, what they do, they re receive messages from the sense organs. You have learned what is sense organ in class 2. Yes, the sense organ. What are the sense organs? There are five sense organs. Eyes, tongue, ears, nose and skin. So, the brain receives messages. Okay, they receive messages and they do things. Like example... Example, now I want to take an apple and eat. Now the brain will send messages to my hand. And then my hand will take the apple and put it in my mouth. So the brain does everything. The brain controls every part of our body. This system controls all our action like seeing, hearing, speaking, learning and so on. So this system controls all our action like seeing, hearing, speaking, learning and so on. The brain is the main part that send messages that yes. Now Mukul you have to sit down. Mukul you have to stand up. Okay, Veer, you have to stand and sing. Veer, now you have to run. So these things keeps on going on through the brain. The brain keeps sending messages and then all the sense organs start doing their work. So the brain is a very important organ of a human body. Lungs. We have two lungs located in the chest on either side of the heart. They help us to breathe. Children, we have two lungs located in the chest. In your chest you have two lungs on either side of the heart. Just next to the heart we have lungs and the lungs help us to breathe. You keep your hand on your chest, you will feel your breathing. When you breathe in, you breathe out, you will feel how the lungs float up. So, the lung is located in the chest and the lungs help us to breathe. Heart. Heart is present in the chest between the two lungs. It works like a pump to supply blood to all the parts of the body. A heart is present in the chest. You keep your hand on your chest, you will feel the heart beat. Our heart is between the two lungs and it works like a pump. It supplies blood to all the parts of the body. So, when the heart is beating, that means you are alive. And if the heart stops beating, that means you are dead. Stomach. 
stomach is a sac like structure located in the middle portion of a body side slightly towards the left it helps in the digestion of food digestion is the breaking down of the food into simple form stomach is like a sac sac like structure it is located in the middle portion of a body the stomach is located in the middle portion of the body you know where is your stomach yes you keep your hand there you can feel your stomach in the middle it helps in digestion when you put you eat your food it helps the food to get digested and then it breaks the food into smaller pieces or simple form and then it, it goes to different part of the body kidneys kidneys are a pair of bean shaped organ present towards the back in our abdomen they help to remove the waste from our body kidney do you know how kidney looks ask your mummy to show you rajma beans you look at the rajma beans our kidney looks just like it and then you have your kidney where it is towards the back in our abdomen towards the back okay it's towards the back abdomen they help to remove the waste from our body the things which are not required in, a, in our body it helps to remove it the kidney helps to remove the unwanted things from our body bones and muscles bones are the hard parts that give shape to the body muscles are the soft parts attached to the bones together the bones and the muscle help us to move and to work yes the bones are the hard part of the body you know in your body you have bones hmm? in an adult human body there are 206 bones and over 600 muscles so children how many bones we have 206 bones and more than 600 muscles so the bone is the hard part hard part that gives shape to our body like the skeleton it is bone the skeleton it gives shapes to our body and the muscles cover it so together the bone and the muscles help us to move and do work If the bones and muscle is not there we are unable to do any work so the bones and muscle help us to do different work like to run to walk to play to write okay so bones and muscles together help us to move and do work children now we stop here and in my next class i'm going to teach you respiratory system so some questions are given below read the internal organ whatever i have done today and answer the questions given below read the chapter thoroughly and be prepared for your next class If you have any difficulties please discuss it in the group thank you and be safe hello students 
I hope you are fine and taking care of yourself. Today I am going to teach you science second part of the chapter human body. In my last class I taught you about external and internal organ. Today we are going to learn about respiratory system. Our respiratory system Respiratory system. We all breathe air to live. Our respiratory system consists of the nose, windpipe and lungs. While breathing, air enters through our nose and reaches the lungs through the windpipe. Our lungs absorb oxygen from air and sends it to the blood. The oxygen reaches all parts of our body through the blood. This oxygen burns the food we eat to give us energy. When we breathe out, harmful carbon dioxide comes out of our body through our nose. Breathing purifies our blood and helps us to obtain energy. Let us study about the organs of our respiratory system and their functions. Now children, let us understand the function of the nose. The nose. The nostrils act as the air intake, bringing air into the nose where it is warmed and humidified. Tiny hairs called cilia present in the nostrils filter out dust and other particles that enter the nose through the breathed air. Now children, I hope you understood the function of the nose. Now let us understand and learn about windpipe. Windpipe. The air enters the windpipe which lies partly in the neck and partly in the chest cavity. The walls of the windpipe are strengthened by stiff rings of cartilage to keep it open. The windpipe is also lined with cilia which sweep fluids and dust particles out of the airway so that they do not enter the lungs. Now let us see how the lungs functions. The lungs. Our body has two lungs. They are like soft moist sponges which are extremely delicate. They help in the process of breathing. The air we breathe in fills the lungs. The oxygen from the air mixes with the blood and carbon dioxide is given out. The lungs send the absorbed oxygen to different parts of the body through blood. I hope you have understood the lesson. Now read the chapter, understand the chapter and do the worksheet given below. The link is also given below. Take care of yourself, be safe and have a great day. Thank you. The process of breathing. The process of taking in oxygen, inhale, and giving out carbon dioxide, exhale, is called breathing. Take a deep breath. Do you feel the air rushing in? Now blow out. Do you feel the warm air blowing over your lips? As you breathe in, inhale, a special organ called a diaphragm pulls your lungs down, making them bigger. This causes air to rush into your lungs. When you breathe out, exhale, the diaphragm again squeezes the bottom of your lungs and the air is forced out of them.